a quick video to show you how you can see uh, easily in Trackit 20XX uh, when an end user has updated a ticket. So in Trackit today you've got the concept of business rules. Now business rules allow notifications to go out to your end users and to your technicians. So if a ticket was updated or modified or whatever you want to call it, you could send a notification uh, which would be sent uh, via email to that user so they can see there's a change. However, uh, you may not want to use that functionality and have it available within the system. So what you can do within the system is you can use um, conditional formatting which will also give you a nice alert, a visual indicator that the ticket has been updated by an end user. So in the screen, you will see I have a column. I purposely added last user here, just so you can see how this mechanism would work. And I'm logged in as the system administrator. So you will see here, I've added a field called last user and any ticket that I've been updating uh, gets updated with my technician account. So if I was Kate Waring, K Waring and updated the system, it would say K wearing here. Uh, obviously, as administrator, it's updated it with administrator. Now, if the ticket is updated by the end user, um, let's say by way of an email, then what it would do is it would update it uh, and it would flag it being updated by the system account. So that's the mechanism track it uses to bring emails into, into track it. So it would be a system account. And then if we also look at the account self-service, this is when you log tickets via the self-service in order to update a ticket. So there's the two accounts that we need to take into account when an end user is updated a ticket via email or self-service. And it is simply a case of putting a visual alert so we can see that come up on our screens when it gets updated. And to do that, we would simply go to this icon, Manage Formatting. And I've added here to say when the last user equals system account, and also when the last user equals self-service. And I just wanted to highlight it in those colors. I've put a little bold on preview there as well for the system account, but it really doesn't matter. And then the other thing you may want to do is the refresh rate. So you have got an auto refresh. Um, for this particular thing, you can click on refresh, but if you set it to every minute, for example, that should be more than adequate or five minutes and you will see any changes made. So if an email comes in, uh, then what it would do is it would change, uh, let's say the email came from 443, it would change that to system account and then it would flag that as red so we would be able to see that it's the end user that's responded and we need to do something with that. Uh, I will use the case here for administrator. So we can see 437, my web ticket. If I go into here now and I add an update and click on add notes, when we go back into here and we look at 437, let me do a manual refresh, you can see it has changed it now. So I've got an indicator that that's been updated. And obviously then if I wanted to do some stuff in here or change the status, let's say put it to paused, it stops the clock, click on saved, and close that off. You will see now that that's changed to administrator, that's changed and it's no longer flagged with the red. And then if I go back into this system, click on add, why has it been paused? And we go back into here, we should see that has now been flagged as red again. So this is how we can set up some visual indicators within the products to let us know that something's changed to a ticket. The other option of course is using business rules and to fire out an email. So hopefully that's been useful and catch you on the next video.